All right, hey people on YouTube lands, I call back here with the channel Bible Fanatics, and just want to give you guys a quick review on this Church Bible Publishers Pew Bible. And uh, if you wouldn't mind, if you're a first time watcher here, if you want to like, comment, and subscribe, uh, you can get all the notifications. I do Bible reviews, teaching videos, I do accessories to Bibles like Bible pens, Bible highlighters, and all that stuff. So if that interests you, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate that. Uh, but looking today at a cheap, affordable option, because I know a lot of the Bibles on my channel are probably above the $50 range and definitely up to at least $200. So just got done reviewing probably the most expensive Bible, <laughs> the R.L. Allen. So I want to do something that was more affordable, more economic, yet is really good quality. And so I picked this up literally with the tips I get from work. So not even my paycheck. Not anything like that. This was just spare money that I saved up over maybe three weeks. I got some tips at work. was able to buy this. This Bible is $10 from their website. Uh, there is a coupon right now for the COVID-19 virus that takes off 19%. So I got it for $8 around there. This is a vinyl hardback, but it's a textured vinyl. And I really love the feel of this and the look of it. I thought this was gonna look a little bit cheaper. This looks really classy, actually, for a hardback. I just love, I actually really like the white page edges. I, it's really cool just to see a white book, a book block. And it does have black and white head and tail bands. So it's pretty much your basic hardback. You know, it's gonna be pasted off there and got some thick card sheets at the beginning here. Here have a title page. This is essentially the 180 in uh, in uh, hardback form. So you have the epistle dedicatory there, and you get the translator's reader. So I think that's really cool. Uh, in a eight dollar Bible, essentially you get the epistle dedicatory and the translators to the reader. You can see here the paper is for me. It's a little bit. Uh, it is good quality, but it's you definitely can see bleed through pretty easily here. And it's pretty intense. Like that's that's pretty intense bleed through. But again, for eight dollars, and once we get in the Bible text here, you have an index pronunciation guide because it's self-pronouncing text. You get that beautiful dark. Uh, this is a Cambridge large print font, although it's not as large as the Cambridge. So originally, before I got that Bible as a gift, and that's going to be my lifelong Bible now. Um, I would got this one to be a companion to my TBS large print, which is a Cambridge large print Bible, because that one's really nice. I was going to plan on using that one, um, but I didn't want to take it to work and get it all beat up because it is really nice. I wanted it to last a long time. So I was like, you know what, I'll pick up this one since it's the same text, the same page layout. It's just a little bit smaller font, but the pages, the way it's laid out, everything's identical. And so I was like, I'll pick that up and then just use that. Uh, for times where I feel like, you know, I could get water or damage the Bible. So this thing was going to be a beater Bible, and I think this thing could really take a beating. It's built like a tank, even as a pew Bible. So this is uh, about a 10-point font, uh, 9, 10-point, because uh, I believe the Cambridge large print is actually 10.5, so this might be 10, maybe 9.5 point. Beautiful layout, uh, dark print, the verses... First numbers stick out, so they're easy to find. You have a line down the center, page number in the middle there. And when you do turn the page, you'll have a running header at the top. You'll have your uh, book and chapter at the corner. And just look at that, that layout. That is so awesome. I'm going to tell you, for 8 bucks, this thing is well worth it. So going through here, you can just see here's some self-pronouncing text see there so that'll be like in Matthew and Chronicles and Genesis chapter 10 all those areas where his self-pronouncing would be found and you'll have it throughout the Bible but you know I like it does help does help with the pronunciation here's the Psalms you guys can look at that so I like how this thing lays completely flat leaves room there in the gutter they bring the text out so it's very easy to see you do have a great margin all the way around this Bible, so you definitely could take notes in this thing. Cross references, maybe a couple notes at the bottom on a verse. And if you write really tiny with an 005, you could definitely get some notes here in this column. 
But I took this thing out in the sun yesterday. I was just reading it, and it was just a joy to read. Now, the only thing with church, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it in this lighting, is that the paper is really shiny. And it doesn't look like in this lighting I'm going to be able to show you that. Yep. So just know that when you do get this, um, in some lighting, it will hit a streak of light, and this becomes almost unreadable. It's like it diffuses the light across the page, and it covers words and letters, and it makes it a little bit, a little bit harder to read. But all you have to do really is a tip, tip the Bible up towards you, and then normally that light goes away, goes away, and then you can just read this because this is such a beautiful layout. I love the 180 or the Cambridge large print. So it's a not red letter. Their pew Bible is not red letter. It is self-pronouncing. And then really after that, there's nothing too special about this. It's just, but look at this. I mean, it's laying flat all the way through. So we're in Hebrews. It's still no problem. Try to get into Revelation. There's Jude. So, I mean, if you wanted to preach from this Bible, carry it, use it as a devotional, uh, maybe you teach a Sunday school class. Maybe you delete a Bible study. Uh, maybe you want to go out door knocking and you don't want to take a really nice Bible with you. You could bring this. You have the whole Bible. It's really easy to carry. This thing lays flat wherever you put it. So I think it's a great option. See, there's the, the end cardstock page in the back. So I think this thing is just, I, I, for the price, I was just as amazed at the quality of this as I was at the Allen for its price range. So amazing quality for a lot of money. I think it's worth it. Not a lot of money, so I wasn't expecting as much, but absolute quality even for $10. It's my sewn, so that means it has the stitching in the pages and, and it's glued, so it's gonna last you a while. Now, obviously hardbacks aren't leather, so they'll last you longer than a paperback, but they probably won't last you longer than a leather Bible. But at the same time, I didn't buy this to be a lifelong Bible. I bought it to be, you know, a beater, to use it to market. And so, I don't know what I'm going to do with it now. <laughs> I might, I'll might, i probably take it out when I go door knocking and stuff. Um, but I think if you're looking for a cheap Bible, you're just wanting the Word of God. You don't really care about leather and all that other stuff. I think this is a great option for $10. The print, the text, the way it's laid out the quality is all worth it. So if you have any more questions about this one, please let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to answer those for you. If there's something I missed or didn't mention, uh, definitely let me know. If you are interested in this Bible, I encourage you to go to Church Bible Publishers website, pick this up uh, under their Pew Bible or the hardbacks, and you can get that for $10, and they'll get it out to you real quick, and then you'll have a great Bible that's really not uh, a lot of money, doesn't break the bank but it's going to last you a while. So hope this is a blessing to you guys. Hope you have a great day. Take care and God bless.